Now when it comes time to draw up the insulins, just know that regular and NPH are on the buddy system. They're the only ones that can be drawn up together. So we're gonna be taking off the caps, make sure we always sterilize the tips of both. So anything that you're drawing up, it always has to have aseptic technique. So give it a good scrub. Yeah, so we're gonna put air into the cloudy one first. Awesome. But do not flip it over. We're throwing air in first. Cool, then we're pulling it out. And then throw air in to the regular. So now we're gonna pull it over, and it's hard to see, but we have a needle in there, and we're gonna pull it out right to the line. Can you see that? Very teeny tiny. If you can't see it, I'm gonna pull this off. This actually moves around so that you can get a better view of your graduations. So this is not static, you can move it. Okay? Cool. Now next we are going to withdraw from the cloudy. So make sure don't push the fluid into the cloudy. We're only drawing from the cloudy, okay? And we're just going to the desired order. So a little side note, we always need two nurses to verify an insulin drop like this. Can you tell me what you see? And it looks like you have put in five units of NPH. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. What you actually want to do is you want somebody who's looking at the order and has actually seen, yes, you have five units of regular insulin and they saw you draw up your NPH. Yes, you have five units of NPH. This is easier with the insulins that aren't mixed and you can just hold it up together and say, I have five units of regular insulin. Is that what you see? Better yet, you can actually walk up to the other nurse and say, tell me what you see. And then when you hold it up to that nurse and say, tell me what you see, they can tell you that they see five units of regular insulin. And that way they don't have the option to just say, yep, and move on. And that way you've actually gotten a valid double check. Mm -hmm. Now when it comes time to actually stick the patient with the insulin, we always wanna make sure that our first choice is going near the umbilicus. Fancy words for the belly button here. Now we always educate the patient to switch sites every single time they do the injection just to make sure we're not causing scar tissue or any unnecessary damage. Now, we can also give the injection on the love handles here and even the fatty portions of the back of the arms and even the upper thighs. So to help you remember, we do the Macarena dance. So even your very thinnest patients are going to have some love handle meat. So if you're struggling for an area to pinch an inch on some of your super thin patients, everybody has something at the love handle. For the purposes of demonstration though, I'm just gonna stick Mike in the back of his arm. Is it gonna hurt? Uh, only a little bitty bit. So I'm gonna wipe here. Mm -hmm. And I'm pinching just a little bit, just so I know where I'm going. And I'm not actually gonna take my eyes off of it because then I won't know where I stuck. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to dart in, push in, and engage my safety. Yep, so just like a dart, you just wanna go right in, and bam, it's all over before you know it. <laughs>